apologize, I get a lot of disturbances up here. <laughs> okay, so... I, where was I on? You were on, um, this beginning of the game. Oh yeah, so we were just kind of fooling around, and we didn't know what we were doing. We were basically just, like I said, fooling around. So, then we saw the figure outside of the highway. It was like we moved around, we looked from one side, it was there, and then we turned, and then it was on the other side. And it was basically in the median of the road. And how do you explain it? What did it look like? It was black. Like, it looked like it had like, this big cloak. I don't know if it was hat or hair, but black something. White face. Like, I remember the black head and the black shoulders and straight down. Yeah, like, I don't know. I saw, like, a whitish face. I'm not sure. But it was, like, I couldn't see, like, the eyes or anything. So then it was just kind of like, oh, this is, like, getting good. And I was kind of nervous, but I was just like, I'll be, like, you know, like, I was like, I'll be fine. So, we, like, we, like, said some things, like, oh, we closed our eyes and said some things, but then, um, I started screaming, and I automatically, like, woke up, oh, I'm automatically, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. It's okay. um, I automatically... We just heard something fall. Yeah, that's weird. I automatically opened my eyes and I just saw just claw marks. Excuse me. Another disturbance and <laughs> thing. I don't know what it was. I heard something fall. Over. It was this. This was up here. My glass is behind me. So, I just remember pain. I, I opened my eyes and I saw the claw marks. And the middle one was the deepest. And I just remember, like, my hand was, like, twitching. Not really bad, but... My fingers started feeling like vibrating kind of pain. And it, it was excruciating pain. And I remember like screaming. I looked over at my dad and he was just staring. Just like, straight. It, it was almost like he was in a different world. Like when I remember it, like I said in my last video, we didn't even think that we were in a car at the middle point. Like... When Katie, when you screamed, like, it didn't even occur to us that he was there and that he could have said, hey, what's going on? Because he didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. All he was doing, like, he wasn't even looking at the rear mirror. He was just driving and just looking forward. Like, oblivious to everything. It was basically the whole time that everything happened. I didn't, we didn't realize it. Only when we reflect upon it, we actually think about how creepy the dad, her dad was being. And it's like... I, I took care of like I took care of the cut. I I put like a towel on it because we were we were at the beach, so there was towels in our car. So I like kind of just wiped it up and stuff. And like I would say maybe five or ten minutes later, my dad started talking again. I don't remember what he said first. Though. I I don't like I don't remember what he said, but you know what I think. I'm trying to remember. He either wanted to know how Junior was, it was related to the dog. Like time just started, stopped, and started again. Mm -hmm. And it was, was he possessed? What would we see if we looked in the hit rear, rear mirror and like saw what his face looked like? What? There's so many things. But just basically, the thing that scares me the most is what would I have seen? If you open if I your opened my eyes, eyes before, right before I got scratched, I don't know what I would have seen. I mean, it could have been something like, I don't know, just black, sharp teeth. I don't know. Like, probably your worst nightmare. You think about that, and then it's, it's scary. 
Unfortunately, we have to change rooms because my parents are in the, that room and we're being too loud. The sound goes through the walls. Apparently more things go through the walls here. So, stay tuned, I guess.